All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast brought to you by the Believe Podcast Network, the number one podcast network for professionals. Hashtag do you believe and that is believe spelled as B-L-E-A-V. We want to thank all of our fans across the country as well as across the world for joining us. I know we've been on a little bit of a break. We do apologize for that, but after two and a half years of trying to entertain the masses, we needed just a little bit of a break during COVID to spend some time with our families, kind of regroup a little bit, but we are back and ready to roll. We are so happy to be joining the Believe Podcast Network, and we will be releasing new content every single Wednesday at noon. This current episode is about all things Will Ferrell. Two of us love him, two of us don't. And we're going to be talking about his greatest hits, misses, and so much more. We hope you enjoy, and don't forget to follow us on all social media formats. That is Zero Dark Nerdy, again, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast brought to you by Believe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another amazing episode of Zero Dark Nerdy. The world's most notorious pop culture podcast. This is your boy, Brian, a.k.a. El Nino. And today I am joined with... This is your boy, Doodoo Brown, 3879, a.k.a. Jordan Brown. I did that backwards, I realized, but... Uh, AKA, a lot. I do. I'm, <laughs> people literally call me Doodoo out in the streets. Out that. in these streets, I'm Doodoo. <laughs> he belongs to the streets, y'all. Uh, streets till 11 p.m. Belong to the streets. <laughs> till 11 p.m. <laughs> USDA, fresh meat. Hi, I'm Mike. <laughs> and I'm Skylar, Jordan's brother, back again, a.k.a. Sex Panther. Woo! 60% of the time, it works every, every time. time. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, hey! hey. Nice. Did you really? <laughs> that was nice. I did not know that was going to happen. That was actually left over from our Tiger King episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So speaking of Sex Panther, today's topic is all things will feral so we're going to talk about some hits some misses favorites least favorites and the reason we're doing this is because we were all out at the bar friday <laughs> night and skylar and i have a, an appreciation for will ferrell where mike and jordan do not so i figured let's save a lot of this energy a lot of this conversation for the masses to hear out there so I think we are going to start with Jordan on this episode and then go to Skylar right. and then myself and then Mike. And then we're just going to kind of bounce off each other <clears throat> like a big fun house. So do I start off strong <laughs> with the hatred <laughs> and ride it out? I should have been uh, AKA hate train this, this time around. Right. Boy, I fucking hate Will Ferrell. <laughs> I don't hate him as a person, I guess, but man, the, he's he's in a lot of movies. He's in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God damn it, not one of them. Well, maybe one of them. Oh, two of them. Goodness. You like a couple. I like but... a couple of his movies, on, not because he's in it. Right. But because he's like so far in the background, it doesn't fucking matter. Um, <laughs> Except for? Elf, his Elf. best movie. <laughs> there you go. His best movie is Elf. But that, Directed by John Favreau. Yeah, it is. That doesn't even like feel like a Will Ferrell movie. Because it's not just stupidity constant <laughs> in your face the entire time. I like some high-level humor. Of course. This guy, look at Talladega Nights. Yeah. That is the most mindless. Thank you. Shake it back. Yeah. <laughs> it, is the, it is the most, like literally if you, if you liked this movie, you grew up with Mountain Dew in your bottle. Come straight out of your mama's titty. All right, calm down. We still got fans that we want to make sure to come back here. <laughs> they can they can tell me in these streets <laughs> until 11 p.m. <laughs> yeah. Damn COVID, fucking a. Yeah, yeah. Um. So to someone, I mean, we're, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get more into it. I just wanted to start off strong. Okay. Fuck All Will right. Ferrell. Right. Um. As the other Brown brother, I love Will Ferrell. There Most everything he's done. Um. Well, that's probably stretching it. But I really enjoy and appreciate. Will Ferrell as an actor, I think that he, which I think is kind of what started this argument, is that I 100% believe he can carry a movie by himself. Mm -hmm. And I know some people at the table will disagree with that. <laughs> there are two but exceptions of that. Of of him carrying a movie by himself. Whatever, Jordan. You're wrong. I mean, just That's one. cool. 
<laughs> Elf, right? Elf. I so yeah, I love Will Ferrell and most things that he's done. Brian? Just to all right, I'll go. I mean, draw the I'm, battle I'm lines. Piggyback on that. I've, I've been a big fan mm-hmm. of Will Ferrell since Saturday Night Live. I think a lot of his skits are some of the funniest out there. Everything from Robert Goulet. Yeah, but to, skits uh, are like two minutes. I got you. I got you. Just let me, let me. Yeah, I just yes. started. Keep, my, Mike McDonald is new to the podcasting world, by energy. the way. But I do like his energy. Sorry. And I'm glad to have him here. I've been trying to get him on a podcast for a minute. So I'm glad that this is a one on. Michael but, McDonald. <laughs> if I got to hear Michael McDonald one, one more time. 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 <laughs> Not a Will Ferrell movie, but Not. still a good movie. But um, yeah, so it started with the skits. And then, you know, as far as film, you know, there, there's Zoolander where he's got like these little cameos in there. And, you know, he kills it in, in these little parts. Of course, the main thing, it did start with me for Elf. I was like, all right, this is where him, John Favreau, I mean, I thought it was an incredible combination. It's definitely one of my favorite holiday movies of all time. And then, uh, you know, from there, I think Old School was after, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Old School, and I mean, obviously it's him, Vince Vaughn, the uh, the other brother from Idiocracy. Luke Wilson. Luke, that's Wilson. it, Luke Wilson. Yeah. And then uh, who was the four? Who, was it just those three, right? In Old mm-hmm. School? I think those Yeah, they, and then uh, the Jeremy three. Piven was the uh, annoying uh, professor. Uh, he was the dean. The dean yeah. or whatever the hell. And, I mean, that started to show more glimpses of, of what he can do. And then moving forward, I mean, I didn't enjoy Talladega Nights. Like, it is, Same. you know, nonsense humor where he's yelling and screaming the entire time. But help me, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, and I do think depending on the movie, yes, every movie to me in general does depend on a supporting cast. So can he carry a whole movie by himself? I mean, that that's honestly the true question. But, I mean, I think he has, especially with Elf and, you know, the lovely uh, Zoe Deschanel. Mm. Mm. God, she's so great. Sorry. We had to take a little, little, little time out, a little moment of silence for the lovely There's eyeballs. Man. Oh, my goodness. God, she's great. a Disney princess. Oh, she is In a real Disney life. princess. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Her and Anna Kendrick. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, Anna Kendrick especially. So that, that's what I got. So the man of the hour here, the first time on the podcast ever, Michael <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> yeah, so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what is that fifth element where he's like, the word of the day. Um... <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're giving me nothing over here. Right. <laughs> yeah, so Will Ferrell, I think the, a little bit of him goes a long way. I've just always thought that um, I like movies where he is a supporting character. I like old school. I like Wedding Crashers. Oh, yeah. Um, but when he's the main character, it's a struggle for me to be able to watch it. That's um, all I got to say. Yeah, I agree with that. So that so that being said, I mean, there's got to be at least like one to two favorites from from Team No Feral <laughs> over ah. here. So what team, are like Team Won't Feral? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. <laughs> so give me like two All of right. your least favorites, and then two of your favorites. You okay. got to have at least two favorites. I think I've already said my least favorite movie by him. Well, I don't know, man. Um, this this recent got one, some stinkers. Eurovision <laughs> is not good. I've heard, yeah, it's, I've, I've I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on that one. I fucking heard the exact opposite. Holmes and Watson got a 10 yeah. percent. Jesus. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. I don't even think I went straight to DVD. I think he just got one for free, like the fucking U2 album. It was You're bad. Just like, here wow. you go. Holmes and Watson hit theaters. Yeah, it was yeah. in theaters. Big yeah. time. Oh, God. And it bombed. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I, I, it probably didn't bomb. It probably made a lot no, of money, but people bombed. fucking hated it. Will yeah. Ferrell fans even walked out. Yes. So. <laughs> it was so. But they still paid for it to begin with. Yeah, yeah fair, exactly. Fair. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So um, those are pretty, pretty fucking bad. Um, Night at the Roxbury was not funny to me. Which of like his popular movies then would you say is in your top? Is it my top? Is in your, I'm sorry, is in your bottom. Because um, we can go all day about sure, you know, right, his garbage sure, 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 movies right. that we all agree um, on. Uh, I mean, Anchorman, Step Brothers was not funny to me. Uh, <laughs> Step Brothers is... I didn't Step Brothers and Anchorman. Let's, let, Step right. Brothers, it goes, my number one most hated is Talladega Nights. Then... Uh, I'd, okay, then Anchorman, and then Step Brothers. I think Step Brothers was funnier than Anchorman. Wow. Okay, I do, I do, I do, I do. And let's see, I my do, fa- do, my I favorites do. are um, Elf, which he carried by himself, which was great. Um, Stranger Than Fiction, which was actually him movie. him not being in a like right. weird. That was a great movie. Yeah, him. Um, you know, he 
he wasn't doing his normal. Mm -hmm. I'm screaming for attention. <laughs> Is that your Will Ferrell? That I mean, kind of. <laughs> not really. I can do a Will Ferrell. Yeah. But it'd be loud and boisterous Fair. and the neighbors would like knock on the door and be like, shut up in there, Will Ferrell. He'd be like, I'm sorry. They'd be like, I don't like you either. See? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, wow. What, that's what they'd say. Um, I didn't watch the campaign. I heard that was trash. That was yeah. not trash. Not, um, not trash at all. I don't know. I kind of like the Lego movie, but he was just. If I business. kind of liked the Lego movie, you adored the Lego movie. Yeah. Because that movie is flawless. But you're right. He's barely in it. Everything is awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right. But yeah. he's greatest president of business. Yeah. One of my one of my top favorite Will Ferrell movies that without it being a top favorite uh -huh. is The Other Guys. <laughs> Only right. because right. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg just gets me. <laughs> he's so I'm a, I'm a goddamn peacock. You gotta let me fly. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> the hell's a desk pop? <laughs> I did my first desk pop. God. <laughs> so that movie's tough. good. That movie's good. That is good. That is good. To, to go off that, one of mine that actually has not gotten a lot of love and attention, but to me is actually a pretty good movie in general, is The House with him and Leslie Nope. Um, Amy, Amy Poehler. Poehler. Amy Poehler. It's a really, the really house. funny film. So I don't think I've heard of it. So they're trying to get their daughter to go to the school. She gets accepted, but there is a like scholarship oh. that the neighborhood has, and then it's gone. So they decide to run a casino, a casino in their, out of their place. Jeremy Renner makes a cameo okay. in there. Yeah, it's 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 a deep cut. I'm gonna say this, but I think he is fantastic in the house. So if you've not seen the house, definitely check that out. Um, Daddy's home. I was a big fan of the first one. The second one, you know, not so much. Who Never plays who plays the bully in the? That's Wahlberg too, isn't yeah. it? Oh yeah, that's yeah. another that's another okay. Wahlberg collection. Daddy's home too was it was yeah. pushing it, especially when you throw in John Cena too. It's just right. Like, as much as I love the guy, but I would have much seen what's that? You saw him in it? <laughs> I did. Damn. I did the whole you can't see me thing. Damn. I did like get hard with him and Kevin Hart. Damn. And uh, you know, I really did love the first Anchorman. I'm sorry. I, I it's, think it's, it's still a classic. It's a it's a classic. It's a classic. I, That's one of the ones that I was gonna say is really, you know. I'm of a younger generation, not by much than you guys, right. but um Thank you, you for making fuck. me feel right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> But I missed a lot of Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live when Will Ferrell was on it. Right. Um, I've gone back and watched them all, of course, but I missed a lot of that. So my real, <clears throat> one of my first introductions to Will Ferrell was Anchorman. Mm -hmm. And that movie, I remember seeing it in theaters. I remember who I was with. Like, it was, you know, a, a revelation or something. I've, yeah. It's one of those stupid things that sticks in your mind. And I just remember falling in the aisles laughing so hard. Steve Carell's coming out party. Paul Rudd was <laughs> yeah. fantastic in it. Uh, David, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but it's like Kochner or something, playing Champ Kind. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah. All four of them together are absolutely stellar. Mm -hmm. And they, of course, should not have made a sequel, but that was 20 oh, yeah. years too late. Um, but it's that movie to me, I think, is it. And sure, it really showcases that stupid humor that Jordan hates. But I mean, it came out the same year as Napoleon Dynamite. That's what. Right. We as an audience right. wanted and we're, you know, we're expecting. That's when Adult Swim became so popular with that stupid brand of humor. And I love it. I think it's absolutely incredible. Everything that Brick says in that entire movie, mm -hmm. you know, very first time you meet him, how he said, and we'll find out later that I am mentally retarded or something <laughs> stupid like that. And you're like, and he's putting mayonnaise in the toaster. Exactly. <laughs> Like, man, this is this is going to be good stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that's people. one of those two to where, of course, he has a great supporting cast. And, yeah. And you see that kind of trail into shows like The Office because mm -hmm. Champ plays. Um, oh, my buddy Trav Pack. Uh, yeah, Todd uh, Packer. Todd Packer. Packer. He plays Todd right, Packer. Right. And then, of course, Steve Carell's in it. So mm -hmm. I do like, even though a lot of people do not like his character in The Office. Hated it. I know you. I knew you were going to say that. I, I just love the Angelo <laughs> to be, Vickers. To be the honest, doctor is in. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, when uh, when there were rumors that he was going to be the new office manager when um, Steve Carell was on his way out, uh -huh. I was no, nah, I was never going. I was fine. I was completely fine with never watching the show again. I was like, oh well, there goes my stint oh in my liking God. the show. <laughs> and then what? Didn't they like kill him off or some something um, weird happened? Yeah, well, he went for a dunk and he never let go of the rim. The rim fell on him, and then. Um, yeah, that was that was it. Oh my god! Do you not remember this? I haven't finished it yet. You haven't finished the Office? No. It's remember, right, I was going right. through my first watch through like last summer or something. How many Spoiler times have you? How many times? How many heart. times have you watched the Harry Potter movies? <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> <laughs> watch new things is all I'm I know, saying. Right? 
you tell me that all the time. All right, Mike, what do you got as some of your favorites, least favorites? So I'll be honest, I know that I don't like Will Ferrell. So I don't I haven't watched a lot of his movies. <laughs> That's fair. So I don't have a lot of least favorites. Uh, but Talladega Tal- Tal- Nights was by far the worst, in my opinion. I will, wow. nev- I will never sit through that movie again in my yeah. entire life. Uh, I tried Even to watch Michael Step Clark Brothers. Duncan? Bold words. Exactly. Yeah. I tried to watch Step Brothers once and made it about 30 minutes in and stopped. I love it, too. Um, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. It's not unbelievable. It's really not, it's really <laughs> I know it's dumb. Yeah, I know it man. is, but God. Yeah, but the ones I like, I mean, obviously Elf. Elf is, but I, like you mm-hmm. guys, I don't consider that to be the same kind of thing. Right. Yeah. At all. And, um, but old school, uh, Wedding Crashers, even Zoolander, those are great movies, but he is not the main person. That's why it's great. And even, exactly. And even when he's yeah. on screen, I like the movie less when it's happening. Oh my God. Yeah. Ah, get the meatloaf. Not funny at all to me. I never know what she's doing. In here. <laughs> when he's sitting there at the funeral and he's like, uh, 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 yeah, that is so stupid. <laughs> Coming from you, this is absolutely <laughs> absurd. I would like to make this very clear. I have never been to a funeral and picked up. <laughs> Chicks before, okay? I do never. not believe that. Funeral, never funeral crash. Never. You know? <laughs> never crashed the funeral. I do look good in a suit, though. <laughs> so I won't rule it out. <laughs> no. All right, so so this is a question for you two here. Okay. If, if you were to have him in a movie where you're like, all right, I'm going to give him credit for something, or even a role that you would like to see him play. And this could be like a role of a, 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 a character or a person that has been in real life. What would you like to see him do where you can be like, you know what? I, I, I think he might do okay as this. I, to be honest, I think he would be, and just is right off the top of my head, I think he would probably play a pretty fun, like in, if it were a completely uh, comical satire movie, I think he'd play a pretty good funny devil. Okay. Like yeah. funny Satan. I can see that. Yep. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Yep. I think he'd be like over the top and. And in, a, in one of those like suits and stuff with like a pencil thin mustache or something, he just yeah. had to do something about his Jew fro. He actually does. So I have I have Will Ferrell <laughs> Best that? of Saturday Night Live yes, Volume One and that? Two, and there is one where he comes back as the devil and he's he's playing Garth Brooks. Oh, oh my god! god. It's yeah. actually a fucking hysterical skit. Wait a minute, what was that? Was he? No, never mind. I'm thinking of Brendan Fraser. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you thinking of? Ben- ben- Bedazzled? I want to say bedazzled, bedazzled, but it's not. Is it's it not he, bedazzled? Not, it's it's a, bedazzled. Is it bedazzled? With, he's he's the down on his luck guy and uh, Elizabeth Hurley. That's Elizabeth it. Hurley. Yeah. Oh, I think, it was called bedazzled. I think it is bedazzled. Jesus. Anyway, I don't know why. See what affliction has done to us now? Jesus. We don't even want to say bedazzled out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, okay. What were we talking about? Well, so, like, an if ideal you, role that you would like to, that you okay. think he, he would be perfect yeah. in. Jordan's like somebody that dies five minutes yeah. into the movie. Yeah. Well, he did that. He did that in um, Austin Powers. He was oh, that's throwing true. down the chute, and he was like, "I'd be okay if I wasn't on fire." Oh, and then he gets yeah, run that's over. right. He was uh, uh, Mustafa yeah. or whatever yeah. the hell. Yeah. Yep. I forgot about that. Awesome. And then he also has a, a pretty awesome. He's seated at the, the war goods. table, and he pisses off Doctor Evil, so he like shoots him down out of his it's, chair. I don't remember that it, at all. No, he, it's a very missable scene, and the only reason I remembered it is because I was talking with my room. I literally just busted my roommate's um, living room, and I was like, uh, "What's your favorite Will Ferrell movie?" <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, "Elf," and I was like, "You're right." <laughs> He's like, he was like, well, I got to tell you, I don't really like Will Ferrell. I was like, I, I, so I'm going to this thing. Do you want to come over? And you give me my plus one. Right, get, exactly. my, get, my, get my back on this. <laughs> All right, what do you, what did, you said Anchorman. Did you say a favorite yet? No, or did you say no, what you wanted? I was waiting yeah. for Mike to come up with a character that he would like to see Will I Ferrell. I don't know, for. man. I like the devil one. Mm-hmm. It's tough. It is tough. I don't know. I could see him being, if they did some sort of, um, I could see him being a, a wrestling commentator. Yes. Okay. Maybe playing yes. like Bobby, you know, Bobby the Brain or yeah. somebody like that. Um, really any kind of sports commentator, sort of a or, la. Or like, um, who's the Undertaker's boy? Paul Bear. Paul Bear. <laughs> That's, I mean, he's too tall for it. They'd for have sure. to shrink him down. But if you could shrink him down and he could be Paul Bear, that, that would, would be, be fucking awesome. That would oh be pretty God. hysterical. Any real kind of sports commentator, I could see him nice. hamming up pretty well. I don't know, man. You mean like how they did in uh, Dodgeball? Exactly like what Jason I was thinking. Bateman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That'd be Bold fun. move, Cotton. Yeah. Oh, Jason Bateman. Like we will have a Jason Bateman, Bateman episode. That's so incredible. Yeah. Except the only difference is everyone will like him. Hey. 
I'm fine with that because I love Jason. Yeah, I, do too, I watched The Change Up the other night. That movie is a very underrated the bromance. Change up. I've not the seen one where him and Ryan Reynolds switch, Oh, they change bodies like, or whatever? Switch bodies. I've never hmm. seen that either. It's on HBO. That. It's on HBO now. It's on TBS. Check it out. Like every three HBO. days. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In between Demolition Man and Scarface. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, sorry. Y'all go ahead with your character. Did you come up with a character? Um, I mean, you guys said a lot of good ones. Yeah, I would love, I, I love the wrestling announcer or any just kind of sports announcer, announcer, sports mm-hmm, announcer yeah, in mm-hmm. general. You know, I saw the campaign, you know, him as a, as a nominee. Yeah, and I did like that movie. I really did. I thought him and Zach Gilifanakis, yep. did I say that correctly? I was Galifianakis. Probably Galifianakis. Galifianakis. Okay. I was close. A lot closer than normal. <laughs> I, I thought that that was a, you know, a pretty fun, entertaining flick. But, um, yeah, seeing him as some, like, actual, like, the president of the United States, I mean, especially in, in what we're going through right now. I'm not yeah, going to no say anything or name any names, but at this point now, it would be fun to see him play the president. Yeah, or just be the president yes. at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah why yeah. not? Really? Why, you know, why not? Okay, why not? He's the second person in office I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just be uh, what was that uh, idiocracy? What we were just talking yeah. about, yeah. President Camacho. And idiocracy it's, it's too. going that way. And then, President Camacho, <laughs> come on, let's get the rock. Let's go. Basically, He's... Terry Crews. God, yeah, it's such a good yeah. movie. Yeah. Both awesome, <laughs> both ripped as fuck. Right. It's a shame that idiocracy is becoming a documentary now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> did y'all see Curious George? No, no. He was in Curious. I did. George. See he plays that, the man. And I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. But my man, daughter was very young. young. That was actually one of her first movie parties. Was Curious George. So nice. I could see well, he's pretty good in these like kids movies yeah. almost where he's not playing these stupid roles that, you know, one Brian and I love him for, but yeah. whenever he is like having to be the, uh, Oh, what's the, Oh, I'll never remember the title, but you know, in something stupid, like um, curious George and the Lego movie where he can be that genuine sweet. He's actually right. really good at, and that's why right. I said stranger than fiction. You're good. absolutely in that one where he's, he's Everything must go where he sells his everything oh, on his yes. yeah, yeah. card. Yep. When he sells everything, that was decent yeah. because he was being like a normal dude. Yeah. He yeah. wasn't like overreaching and yeah. like, ah, my and I mean that, that, that's broken. something that we have to think about too. Is I'm sure that he likes doing those roles, mm-hmm. but those roles don't bring in the damn paychecks. Sure. Yeah. You and know what I mean? That's the, that's the unfortunate thing about when you get. I don't want to say typecast, but yeah, I mean he is typecast. He is. He's yeah. Very. <laughs> he's very typecast. <laughs> Tight cast. That's tight what cast. I fucking said. I didn't say tight cast. I said tight we cast. I don't know who would ever think it was tight cast. <laughs> tight pa. I know. That's pa. cute. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> um, did y'all like Simi Pro? Yes. Yes. Jackie Moon. Jackie Moon. Man, who the fuck is Bambi? The movie's great. <laughs> When he, when he comes up love with the alley oop, uh, comes up with the alley oop on the spot. That's where we got nope. everybody love everybody. Everybody love everybody. Yeah, I never okay. saw that one either. Nope. Uh, did you guys see Land of the Lost with the dinosaurs? Uh, that no. one is a very good film with uh, Danny McBride. Oh, Danny McBride is. I yes. don't like him either. You're such oh, a liar. God, that's for another episode. I don't like I can't, him. I'm I can't not a big keep, fan of him I either. Can't keep the hate Southbound going. Southbound and Down was kind of funny, but yeah, that's, that's Eastbound and Down. Eastbound. Eastbound and Down. See, I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His best role, his best role was Red in uh, Pineapple Express. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and even that was stupid comedy, and I liked it. Right? Mm. See my armpits? They're shaved. Oh, They're aerodynamic, right. so I can fight. <laughs> that movie's. I, I thought it was great. Hot Rod. Hot Rod. Hot, Rod, very... Hot Rod's a different movie. Hot Rod's <laughs> very well written. It is top tier thinking comedy. Not really, but. <laughs> about to have a stroke. <laughs> cool beans. Cool beans. Cool, cool, what is cool, it? Amy cool. Adams is in it, right? No. Is that um, her, no, it's that? The, the girl from uh, Wedding Crashers. Isla Fisher? Isla Fisher uh, is in it. Oh, she's, she's so hot. She's still Sasha. Yeah. Aaron Cole, yeah. yeah. So hot. Lucky bastard. Yeah. Okay, so any... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Jesus. So let's let me ask you this. We'll just say Wedding Crashers is one of my favorite comedies. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You don't like stupid comedy, but what is this shirt you're wearing? <laughs> I bought him that shirt. <laughs> this, this, that's a fair question. <laughs> There's a lot going on with this Tyrannosaurus unicorn. So I'm wearing a punk rock. I'm wearing a pink tie dye shirt that has a Tyrannosaur <laughs> with a pink mohawk, a pink unicorn, and a rainbow little tassels. feather boa. Feather yeah. boa. Around his neck. I'm pretty sure Macho Man had that. And he's just looking like he's having a good fucking time. This this dude likes to party. (laughs) You know? You know who else likes to party? Hot Rod. (laughs) No. Who? 
Jesus. <laughs> oh God! In Talladega Nights, <laughs> <laughs> it's got a what is a? Oh, it's not Led Zeppelin. What's it? It's got a Van Halen shirt. I'm sitting front row. My Jesus, I'm <laughs> drunker than hell. <laughs> America, gosh, America. America. Anyway, what were you about to say? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I don't fuck. I don't remember. I don't um, either. Look at your. Oh, and you had some. Okay. okay. <laughs> Remember I said, uh, I said Wedding Crashes. Yeah. I think that's a hilarious, hilarious movie. Uh-huh. Wedding Crashers or the best Will Ferrell movie? Like, which, which would we prefer? Mm-hmm. Which do you think is better? And I know that he was even in that movie. Damn. That's right, because you, uh, that's right, he's the, he's the, the meatloaf. Yep. Yeah. Meatloaf. Because Wedding Crashers is really, really good. Dumb yes, it's awesome. Yeah. Who plays? Oh, Rachel McAdams. I still got to go with Elf. Stunning. Over Wedding Crashers. Damn it. Yeah. It's, sorry. It's kind of hard. Gotta go. Gotta no. go with Elf. See, and I'm I'm okay with that though. Because I mean, we're talking want, Christmas here. Right. Well, okay. I, I, if we like, talk about Christmas, I I would pick Anchorman over Wedding Crashers. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you know, I, like I think I, like I, 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 I think like I think I originally started hating Wedding Crashers because you saw it like four weeks before I did, and I quoted the shit out of every it. single <laughs> it was, fucking day. You mean Anchorman? What did I say? You said Wedding Crashers. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Anchor, Anchorman. I did. I did quote it entirely too much, yeah. and I was because that movie changed my Scott life. Would, <laughs> yeah, like, Scott, would, Scott would walk in the room like, "I love lamp," and I'm I like, love, "What the fuck are you talking about, dude?" The movie like, did Anchorman take over the world. Still I still love the meme where it's like, "What did we do before memes?" And it's like, "Dude just ran around and did Anchorman quotes all day." That's, That's exactly it. what That's we what did. Yeah. I did quote it way too much. And I had to watch. And then when I saw the movie, I was just literally straight faced the entire fucking movie. And I was just like, liar. I was, no, I, sw- <laughs> I re- like you said, I remembered it just like it was yesterday. I was with uh, myself because I'm lonely. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I watched the entire movie in the theater. All right. Anchorman. Or if you could recast Will Ferrell. Who Mark would you cast? Ooh, oh, Mark that would be Wahlberg. a good pick. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. All right. All right. Flips table. <laughs> yeah, that was immediate. No, it was immediate. Fucking Wahlberg. I'm out of here. That would be a good one. <laughs> Damn it. All right, you win this round, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Sips drink. Right. <laughs> but see, Sips, I did not really Sips appreciate bullet. how funny... <laughs> Mark Wahlberg was until the other guys. Oh, absolutely. True. Yeah. So I think Will Ferrell also has a lot to do with that too. So hence yeah. like the movie, the change up. My thing is, and I'm, I'm sitting there watching a movie. I'm like, they're playing each other, yeah. obviously. So I'm wondering, and you may be able to answer this because you are the actor of the group. Like, do you think they're sitting there? He's like, listen, I would say these lines exactly like this. Cause right now you're, you're playing me, even right. though you're you, but you're really me. So I, I'm thinking like when you have like that kind of a duo to where Mark Wahlberg really didn't do that many comedies before that. Right. Do you think he had a lot of instruction from Will Ferrell? I, I, I would so. I, I think that it would actually be more on the director, whoever, you know, directed the other guys mm-hmm. um, to have. I, I, I feel like in the the actor world, air quotes, <laughs> in the actor world, um, if. Will Ferrell were to give too much direction, it would be seen as a negative, as sure. like a bad thing. Sure. But I, I one thousand percent would bet on it that Mark Wahlberg was like, "Will, you're going to help me out with this, right? Right. Like, you know, this is my first real foray into comedy. You're going right. to help me out. That was like, and, that really was his first. Yeah. Movie. I think yeah. So. I yeah. It's just like a great I'm, look, I'm looking back. I mean, you know, you got the rock in it for a little bit. Sam Jackson. That's right. They jump off the <laughs> they they jump off the bed. Go for the hedges. Go, go for the hedges. <laughs> that was funny as shit. Yeah, that was great. Other guys is fucking fantastic. And I mean, to me, I think both of those guys carry that movie. I don't I don't think you have the other guys without either one of them. Yeah. Plain and simple. Like Daddy's home. Yeah, you could probably kind of pair it like mm-hmm. whoever up, but I mm-hmm. do think that combination of Will Ferrell. And Mark Wahlberg yeah. makes that movie. I do. Yeah. I do think Will it, Ferrell's wife, um, uh, not yeah. Sofia Vergara, it's the um, uh, Eva Mendes. Eva, Eva Mendes. Yeah. Yeah, she's so hot. Yeah. That. What does he call it? Gator. <laughs> Gator. 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 <laughs> and that's the thing. I guess it's because he looks so fucking weird. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like so non-threatening. Yeah. Yeah. They give him a fucking wooden gun. <laughs> <laughs> my first desk call. Oh, man. Oh, my God. You think that movie stuff. worked so well because it was Mark Wahlberg's first comedy? You weren't expecting that, that, that could be it, too. I think that it works well too. between the two of them, to be honest yeah. with you. But, yeah, but on top of that, too, you think about the supporting cast. Like I said, you got The Rock. You got Samuel L. Jackson. You have, um, oh, my goodness. 
the guy that was in Boardwalk Empire who's in the pit. Damon Wayans uh, Jr. is in there, yeah. too. I can't think of the other guy mm-hmm. in there, but it's got a really good supporting cast. Michael Keaton yeah. and all his TLC references oh, in there. Right. Yes. That's right. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Are that's you a- purposely <laughs> quoting TLC? It, it has a lot to offer. Yeah. It really does. So I, I definitely right. don't think Will Ferrell ruins it. I don't think Mark Wahlberg ruins it. I think it's just a nice little perfect storm of it's just a, everything. It's a well-written movie directed it by a nice person who... <laughs> <laughs> happened to throw him a bone. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Cause that, you know, like you're saying, Mark Wahlberg, how, how he's playing against type, you know, it's yeah. pineapple express with, you know, you cast James Franco and Seth Rogen and right. you 1000% expect Rogen to play the stoner and Franco to play the straight man. Yeah. Right. And the fact that, you know, Rogen is the straight man and Franco is the stoner. That's 90% it's of brilliant. that humor it's of brilliant. going into that movie. Yeah. So yeah. when you go into this and you see that Will Ferrell is this ex, gambling monster or whatever yeah. he is. You know, Gators don't take no shit. This ex pimp, <laughs> right. And Mark Wahlberg is the the goofy. Oh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. It just works. You know, like you said, does it work? Because yeah. you're like, wait a minute, Mark, Mark's not that funny. What right. is he doing? Yeah. Chill. But, and I, I still love the story where he's like talking about the damn uh, sharks and tigers or something or dolphins or something. Yeah. He's like, and they figured out a way to canal. Right. And now yeah. they're attacking your village. <laughs> It's it actually is one of those movies where like if if the other guys is on I'm watching it yeah plain and simple okay you know what I might like other guys better than Elf and now that I'm thinking no, of, stop hitting your microphone I wow. only hit it once that that's mm-hmm. the first time thank you Skyler no it's that's not why I like you the best you were doing this number and you're like <laughs> I was getting close when you listen back to it just know that well yeah so Elf will be your number one Will Ferrell solo. led solo yeah. Will Ferrell movie. And then co Will Ferrell, other yeah. guys. Mm-hmm. 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 I think that's fair. I think that's fair too. I'll give fair. you that. So hopefully, if, if he's listening to this, uh, I will send you. <laughs> Jordan, I will send you Jordan Brown and Michael McDonald's addresses to send him some poop. Now, don't get me wrong. Mail. <laughs> if Will Ferrell comes to my house, which he won't do, <laughs> you never know. I do know. I I know this for a fact. <laughs> if Will Ferrell shows up at my front door, I will be one. Hundred percent, a little bitch. <laughs> You'll be starstruck. I'll, yes. be, I'll be so starstruck because he's yeah. like he's fucking up there. Like oh, he's yeah. one of the m- most famous people. Oh yeah. And oh, I'll tell, I'll tell you what. Something else funny he did was uh, he was on fuck. He was on that show with the 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 talk the late night talk show host, um, the guy who does the the comedy or the the car singing. The car. Oh, Corden. Yeah, uh, yeah, James Corden. James Corden. The, he does a show where he um. They have like uh, it's it's either truth or eat. Oh, you were telling, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You mentioned so that. they have this plate full of just nasty shit, like cow penis, cow tongue, uh, ant yogurt. It's just like ants grinded up into yogurt. Oh, and like you, it, they he asks, impi- well, it goes back and forth. So uh, James Corden asks the person supposedly an unanswerable question, or else you're pretty much committing, you know, career suicide. Or you eat whatever the fuck they choose. And he, Will Ferrell does not back down anytime. He answers and then eats it. Oh my God. <laughs> and like when he, when he doesn't want to answer it, he'll just go ahead and eat it. But then when he does answer, he'll still like look James and straight in the eyeball and just like. <laughs> and his yeah. face doesn't change. He's never yeah. like, oh, this is gross. He's just like. I think he's I think he's like the Mick Foley right? <laughs> of, yeah. of comedy. Come on, wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I, like I, I know some stuff. I like that. I did like the drum off between him and Chad. Chad Smith. Uh, Chad yeah, Smith. Chili Peppers. Because they yeah. really do look They, they look, look exactly the same. Identical twins. All yeah. right, ladies and gents. Well, that's going to do it for this Will Ferrell appreciation episode, courtesy of your friends here at Zero Dark Nerdy. Appreciation. <laughs> and friends. The most yes. appreciation. <laughs> you, guys, sure. you guys give it up for Mike. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> I got to see what else we got. Hold on. <laughs> but no, for real. That's that's, for, oh, that, that's not for Mike. Here we that's go. The that's Mike. the one for there Mike. That's the one for Mike for joining us today. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Skylar coming back and joining us in studio as well. Jordan, this is Brian. On behalf of everybody else from Zero Dark Nerdy, thank you so much for listening. Be sure to check us out on all social media formats. YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, all that fun stuff. Big shout out to Andrew Newman, attorney at law, taking care of all your criminal, civil, and traffic court needs all over North Carolina. Every single county. 
attorneynewman.com is the website. There you go. Zipster.com, responsible for our amazing website. They take care of your website as well as SEO needs. And of course, check out our website for the latest blogs, news, videos, information, all that fun stuff. You can contact us. Anything you want to hear, anything you want to have as far as trivia rounds, let us know. We are all about you, the people. So big shout out to everyone across the U.S. and of course our fans internationally for, uh, you know, we're two years strong in this, over 100 episodes, season three, could not be happier. And you guys are the reason that we're getting through COVID. So thank you so much. And we'll catch you next week. Peace. Yeah. Victory. And anger management? Fuck anger management.